L'OTAN est la plus grande armée du monde. Elle aurait dû être démantelée à la chute de l'Union soviétique puisque sa vocation était de défendre l'Europe contre une hypothétique invasion. Au lieu de cela, l'Occident a fait de cette armée l'instrument privilégié du maintien de son contrôle sur les réserves pétrolières du Moyen-Orient et de Libye notamment. Les guerres se multiplient, toutes plus meurtrières pour les populations locales, mais l'OTAN continue de bénéficier de leur caractère lointain, loin des yeux, loin du cœur. Avec des actions spectaculaires, les pacifistes suédois nous rappellent que la guerre commence chez nous. The 25th of May, one of the largest military air exercises in the world, starts in northern Sweden, Norway and Finland. For two weeks, more than 100 fighter jets from nine countries will take part in the war exercise. Peace activists are now planning protests in order to raise awareness about Sweden's role in international war preparations. Anledningen till att jag vill åka och att vi alla vill åka är väl att inte att försöka stoppa övningen utan mer uppmärksamma att att den är och jag tänker att det är viktigt att visa för dem som genomför övningen att inte alla tycker att det är okej. Okay. This kind of international military exercises has increased during the last 10 years in Sweden. So has the resistance against the militarization. We're here to expose the war industry with pink. So say with me, war starts here! Let's stop it from here! Several NATO members are participating in the exercise, among them USA, Great Britain and Germany. In spite of Sweden's long tradition of non-alignment, the country is now approaching a NATO membership and has recently signed a far-reaching cooperation treaty with NATO. Det är sån utbredd oro tänker jag bland gemene person att att alltså, militären är det enda vi har att sätta sätta emot. Och för mig känns det som att det viktigaste är att också sprida någon sorts anda av att det finns annat motstånd man kan göra. Det behöver inte alltid vara en militärt motstånd. This time the exercise area consists of one third of Sweden's airspace. But the north of Sweden is not only used for military exercises. There is also a test range where new weapons are tested by both Swedish and international armies and companies. It consists of 1650 square kilometers closed military area, which is forbidden to enter. During earlier war exercises here, for example by NATO, peace activists from Sweden and abroad have peacefully entered the area to try to force them to stop the bombings and rehearsals. But the exercises have continued anyway. The test range is marketed as an unpopulated area, perfect for bombing. This is an offense to the people who actually lives here and also to the people who has been forced to move, the Sami people. The Sami people are the indigenous people of Northern Europe, who through history and until today has been targeted by Sweden's colonization of their land. Sweden has not yet signed the Indigenous and Tribal Peoples Convention. Four years ago, the peace network Urfug arranged a big international peace camp against the militarization of Northern Sweden. This time they are arranging smaller protests with other groups such as the network NATO out of northern Sweden. To be expected is a manifestation in Luleå, as well as smaller actions in affinity groups.